Greetings, I am back with my boys. I figured there were a few things I should commentate on in this video. You've probably seen day 3 if you're watching this, so I won't talk about things I've already mentioned there. And really there's not as many tricks as there were on day 3 of the 6 day completion, so I won't have as much commentary as I did in that video. So first I want to enter most of the caves in Perplexing Pool. The reason is, I only have 16 blue Pikmin, but I can make more if I use Queen Candy Pop Buds. One of the ways I challenged myself was I tried to only visit each cave once, because I didn't want to get a bunch of yellow and blue Pikmin while inside caves and make completing Perplexing Pool easy. My other self-imposed challenge was trying to complete Perplexing Pool on day 4. This meant I couldn't go to Valley of Repose and repair myself by growing blues or flowering my reds, and I also don't have the Rush Boots, which would have been really helpful. So I just finished Citadel of Spiders, and now I'm going to Glutton's Kitchen. Since my total purple Pikmin count was less than 20 before going to both caves, there's actually a Violet Candy Pop Bud that spawns on sub-level 2 of both caves. This allows me to get more purples. Here's one of the tricks that makes Perplexing Pool much easier. If I knapsack in this particular spot, I can get carried up to this ledge. This was found by HSS. Note that this glitch is easier to do with Louie. But because I did that, I can now get Yellow Pikmin without destroying the Poison Wall. Here I do the OG knapsack carry glitch, which was found by T-Rex Quisite. I'm pretty happy with how this segment turned out. You see that there's a whole army of Pikmin following me into Glutton's kitchen, and I also have 19 yellow Pikmin in the onion. By the way, I could be getting more spicy sprays from these caves, but I decided to challenge myself and not use spicy sprays for the rest of this run. Brace yourselves. I really wanted to grab a purple Pikmin, but they were feeling very shy.
Oh man, and one side of these scales is too heavy. Guess I'll have to balance out the other side so I can get up. I mean, we play games the way they're intended to be played, right? That's what 6 hit completion's all about. I had a weird missed input there, not sure exactly what happened. By the way, fun fact, if a purple is attached to a snitch bug, the snitch bug will actually never shake it off, so purple can single-handedly destroy a snitch bug. At this point, I'm just waiting on the yellows to finish destroying the electric gate. Once they finish, there's a good chance that one's gonna walk in the water, so I want to enter Summer's Castle before it drowns. So pay close attention to the sheer wig on the top of the screen. It just put a purple in his mouth, and that sort of caused something weird to happen here. Wow! So we can bring non-blue Pikmin into Summer's Castle then, right? Well, not exactly. Here's what really happened. That purple pigman that was inside the Shearwick's mouth is gone. It's not with me here in Submerge Castle, and it's not inside the ship either. Wait a minute, I thought this was a no deaths run, you may ask. Well, it still is. My stat for deaths is still zero, so it's still a no deaths run. You see now that I only have 24 purples in the ship, I should have 25. Losing that purple Pikmin wasn't really the end of the world, but I did decide that I should enter Shower Room twice to make up for it. I can use a Violet Candy Pop Bud on sub level 5 to give myself 5 more purples. Here's that stupid sheer wig that made my purple disappear. If it had just finished dying before I went to Submerge Castle, that purple wouldn't have disappeared in the first place.
There is a way to use momentum throws on two purples to collect the Gherkin Gate, but might as well just do it the intended way. Also, in almost every attempt, the Gherkin Gate got stuck here, so I just got used to throwing a purple up there to fix it. I'm not exactly sure who found this, probably HSS but I couldn't find a video on it, but if I use a knapsack in that particular spot, I can go underneath the scale. Now, if I angle myself correctly, I can fall out of bounds. And when I fall out of bounds, I respawn right here. This is a handy trick that Clarice Robin found over 10 years ago. Putting the water dumples off camera makes them inactive, so now they won't attack the blues that are carrying the onion replica. Digger, what are you doing? You can't use whites to collect back this water. Au contraire, mi amigo. Pikmin actually don't start drowning during a cutscene. So, when I switch back to Louie, you'll see that the white Pikmin carry the treasure safe and sound through the water. This was the discovery made a little while ago by HSS. It was nice to apply it to a challenge run setting where I didn't have many blues to begin with. These throws are a bit tricky, especially without the rush boots. If I'm too short, the Pikmin won't attack the plug, and instead they'll attack the wog poles. And even if I throw correctly, they still might attack a wog pole. Now I try to get back to base with Louie. I could have just used the knapsack and gotten back that way, but it was too simple. I had to go back in style.
Here I grab some red pigment for candy pot bud fuel. That's pretty much all they're good for, am I right? As soon as I complete shower room, the debt's gonna be paid off and the day will end automatically. So first, I went in to make 5 more purples, and now I'm gonna go in to complete it. In addition to using this red pigment as candy pot bud fuel once again. And I put these yellow pigment away so that I could use the queen candy pot buds in shower room to make 16 more pigment. And we made it, with a few seconds to spare. You have repaid the entire debt exclamation point. And here are my stats. You see that I still have zero Pikmin lost. Also, I spent four days to complete the debt. You may think that this is the best we can do, but a three day debt completion is actually possible, but just insanely hard. A couple of people like HSS and Noah Moa have managed to do it. I invested quite a few hours into trying to do it once, but I wasn't fast enough, so I couldn't complete it. Thanks for watching! I hope to see you again. Take care!